Welcome back. Well, colleges around the country always looking for new programs for their students. But when school is turning a popular pastime into a new varsity sport, Alex Hines reports from Upshur County. West Virginia Wesleyan College announced a first for it Thursday morning, the hiring of the first coach for a college-organized eSports team. Coach Kevin Wu says competitive video gaming isn't just a hobby, it can also connect schools to a new generation. Uh, you know, these things are becoming part of the modern era, and they're not really things that we can avoid. So I think it's, it's important for a school, especially a smaller one, to stay in line with what the students are doing with what the rest of the world is doing. I think it's a really great chance for that. In today's world, millions of dollars are awarded for top-level gamers each year, with companies that make some of those games providing support for college leagues. And like other sports, it's turning into big business, too. And so this year, we'll probably hit a billion dollars in gaming for the first time. 230 million people watched video games in the month of May alone. Um, and so this is a very serious uh, part of society. Whether a Wesleyan grad becomes a professional or not, President Joel Thierstein says there are skills to be learned from competing on a team that can be transferred from the screen to the real world. Um, there are different levels of competition and they can continue to compete long after they graduate and this gives them kind of a co-curricular activity that, that will allow them to succeed in, in, in a variety of levels, not just in their, in their gaming world but also in their academic world as well. Esports may not be an athletic pursuit but there's still practice and training needed to become the best. And that's part of what makes the competition both intense and educational. That sort of edge is really what keeps them uh, in line. You know, the things you have to do to be competitive, the things you have to do uh, to succeed, I do think they're very similar. And I do think in that regard it is uh, very much the same at heart. Reporting in Buchanan, I'm Alex Hines for 12 News.